so guys welcome back to another video and in today's video let's talk about uh, map box ever since i made this post on maps and markers and also this video a large amount of people have been asking me uh, how to include map box inside your flutter application i mean maps from map box inside your flutter applications as well this is mainly because uh, google maps they uh, there is there is not a widget available for bringing google maps inside your flutter applications guys there was one uh, map view something map view plugin or something like that for uh, bringing in a static map using the static map api you could bring in a static map and use it uh, inside your flutter applications but as of july 16th 2018 that is last month they started charging for that static maps api now you are allowed only one request per day okay one request per day that's 24 hours and more than that you need to uh, pay for like uh, around 1000 requests it's 2 dollars i think something like that it's it's being charged that's what i'm that's what my point is so a large amount of people have been asking me how to bring in leaflet maps or what's the uh, alternative leaflet maps i showed you in this maps and markers post and a lot of people have been asking me what's the alternative to this how to bring in map box how to bring in beautiful maps inside how to bring in animations how to draw polygons on this uh, maps and all that so uh, what I decided was in this video, I'll show you how to bring in map box maps, uh, maps from map box, map tiles from map box to be more specific inside your uh, Flutter applications. Now uh, map box already has a, wait, I'll show you. Map box already has something called a Flutter map box GL. Okay. Uh, but the thing is this has, this is exclusively this plugin is for integrating Flutter maps inside your uh, I mean, uh, map box, map tiles inside your uh, Flutter applications. But the point is that they have brought in some nice animations and, uh, you know, they, they, are, they have just done the basic work here. And uh, as of now, with this plugin, you can't draw polylines or polygons or uh, even I don't think you could do markers with these plugins. They are just for bringing uh, these uh, map box, map tiles inside your Flutter applications. So what I decided to do was that try to make use of the original plugin that we used. The Flutter map plugin was the one that we used originally, right? See, this Flutter map plugin was the one that we used originally to bring in uh, leaflet maps. So I thought I'll go ahead and use this to bring in our map box map tiles inside our Flutter applications as well. So uh, let's see how to do that in this uh, video. First, I have a blank application here. Nothing fancy in this. I'll go ahead and copy this entire thing, maybe along with the marker. Okay, here I have some code. I'll copy this entire thing. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, add flutter map as a dependency here. And this will automatically fetch the uh, map plugin for us. And once that is done, this will get, uh, this error will vanish. Now, uh, what I'm doing is I'm using making use of the OpenStreetMap uh, endpoint to get the uh, leaflet map. That is the OpenStreetMap inside this application. Rather than using this, what I'll do is I'll go ahead, get into Mapbox, create an account. Okay, it's free. It's completely free. Create an account. And uh, here there is a quota, right? Wait, I'll show you. Map use, we can do 50,000 uh, views per month. That is per month you can do 50,000 views. So far I have made 207 or something. But anyway, uh, get here, get in here and then create a token. Or you can simply make use of the default token. I have created a token, a first token here, which I'll be making use of uh, to bring the map inside your Flutter application. Uh, then get into studio. Okay. Once you have created a key, get into studio. Here simply pick a template and then create a map. I have created like four styles here, right? Uh, I'll use this one, streets, okay. So this I have set it to public and just tap on, I mean, click on share and use. Click on use third party. They'll give you an integration URL, copy this and then get back into your code and then here just paste it. Fine. Now uh, the we have another thing called subdomains and all that, right? Remove that. Instead of subdomains, just add additional options additional options uh, additional options will be an object and say this oh sorry uh, 
inside this uh, just give access token and give the token okay have placed the token and then go here and give a map id as well we need to provide a map id uh, so i'll get in here id map box uh, dot map box streets v7 okay uh, now i have given an id as well and uh, this will be the additional options to bring in uh, map box map tile set inside this particular uh, flutter application you might wonder where i got this id from uh, that's nothing fancy guys i'll just you know get into tile sets here i have the map box streets v7 right simply click on menu map id is there right i copied this and pasted it there that's it i mean i typed it now right right now but from that from that's where i got this id and i have this marker and everything should work fine uh, right now so let's save this and uh, run this on our emulator and see what happens you can see that we have a beautiful map here and uh, we also have a marker placed exactly on new york as well right you can now zoom in to this map uh, oh i think it's control plus drag or something like that right for zooming in see you have a nice flutter map and uh, not a flutter map map box map uh, map box streets map available inside your flutter applications now this is how uh, you bring in flutter i mean not a flutter you bring in a nice map box map inside your flutter applications guys you can obviously use the uh, flutter map box gl plugin that i showed you before as well to do this but the point is that uh, you won't be you won't have the option to add a marker or a polygon inside uh, your application since it's not yet available with the uh, current plugin maybe they'll include that on, at a later point of time maybe now what we'll do is uh, we'll i'll show you how to do a polyline okay a polygon add how to add a polygon in say on your uh, map or to draw a polyline on your map so to do that we need a specific set of points right you know first of all before talking that before talking about that i'll say one thing the thing is uh, you have a map pop i mean inside layers you have tile layer options to bring in the map tiles which will be displayed and whenever you pinch and zoom uh, it, it's the one that's getting zoomed up and then uh, shown on your screen right and the marker layer options uh, a marker layer is nothing but a feature layer added on top of your map right similarly you have a something called as a poly layer options okay that's the thing that we'll be using inside this layer to bring in a polyline now let's see how to do that before bringing in a polyline we as i said we need a set of points for a polyline right so we'll go ahead and create that uh, here inside the inside the home page what i'll do is uh, uh, where points equals it will be a lat long uh new latitude longitude of uh, 35.22 sorry i have some points here why don't i just copy and paste it in order to save some time cool uh now i have a set of five points the first point and the last point is the same obviously since we want the polygon to end at a specific point right and uh, a set of latitude longitude coordinates now i am going to draw a polygon exactly in this specific point so what i'll do is i'll move the center to that point as well uh, center will now be and we'll simply reduce the zoom so that we can zoom it a bit better zoom out a bit better to see the polygon shape accurately and uh, now is where we will start with the polyline layer options after the marker layer or we don't even need this marker layer as of now we'll simply comment this out and then new poly line layer options and inside this i'll do poly lines uh, this will be an array and inside this new poly uh, 
line and uh, inside this i'll have points points sorry points points and uh, stroke with i'll have like 5.0 or something like that and uh, color color start red okay uh, this will be the uh, options of my polyline that i'm about to draw on the map and uh, the points has the set of latitude and longitude coordinates let's save this and run this to see what happens you can see that we have a couple of lines wait let me zoom out even i feel it's too much of zoomed in maybe yeah now uh, you can see that a polygon has been drawn between four cities dallas houston san antonio and uh, Arm Amar amarillo right anyway uh, uh, yeah this is how you draw polylines on your uh, map box maps inside your flutter applications guys uh, i know this is pretty much in the development stage as of now so the, i don't think there is this uh, stroke fills or uh, i mean the fill inside the polygon color filling the polygon with uh, transparent color and uh, giving setting opacity options for that color i don't think that's uh, that exists as of now uh, but once it gets in i'll i mean once it uh, becomes available i'll do a detailed video explaining how to fill this polygon how to drag the lines of this polygon and all that so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today hit like hit the thumbs up button if you really like this video subscribe to my channel if you really like what i'm doing on this channel uh, and hit the notifications button so that you don't miss any of the content that i upload here and uh, yeah uh, hope this helped you guys if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too and I'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.